Hey everyone, this is Richard C of Altfins. In today's trading video, I will demonstrate how to do a technical analysis, including how to identify certain chart patterns, how to draw and identify support, horizontal support and resistance levels, and also how to uh, stay on top of your trades using alerts. So let's go ahead and get started. Currently, I'm here on the screener, and I'm gonna demonstrate this on an asset called Near Protocol. You may be familiar with that. So let's go ahead and do that. Now here, we have two types of charts. Uh, we have our original chart, which you can also add different analytics to, certainly. But um, for drawing and saving your chart and your work for future use, I recommend using the trading view, which we have integrated into our platform as well which is a pretty cool feature because you can, again, do all your drawings here and save it, um, and, and that becomes part of your platform, uh, Alfin's platform. So first of all, notice that the asset is in a downtrend on the short-term, medium, and long-term basis right here. Um, Alfin's platform updates trend ratings on the constant basis uh, for over 3,000 assets, so this is a, an easy, quick way for you to identify whether an asset is in an uptrend, downtrend. I typically emphasize the medium term trend because the short term trends can quickly change uh, and then the long term trend take too long to change. But medium trend, I think, uh, captures uh, sort of a, a more uh, ma you know, mature, established trend, but not a trend that's too long or too old. So. <clears throat> Having said that, let's go ahead and open up the uh, the trading view chart and bigger. So what we have here is the uh, is the uh, the price, the volume, and the MACD. Um, sometimes I like to <clears throat> have um, moving averages, 50 day <clears throat> and a 200 day. So let's go ahead and add that in here real quick. 200 day. Okay, and then another one, moving average, 50 day. And I'll explain why I like to have these in here. 50, okay, as you can see, the 50 day average right here has dipped below the 200 day moving average. And that's a, that's a sign of a downtrend. When that happens, it's called a death cross. And you can find uh, those on our platform under the signal summary. But um, <clears throat> when that happens, that's an indication of a downtrend. And indeed, the price since then has gone from, uh, call it about $5.50 to about $4. So, you know, it's down about 30% um, or so. So clearly that, you know, bearish signal has worked. Um, okay, so having said that, now I'm going to hide these two. So we don't have too much noise in this chart because I want to demonstrate how to um, find some support resistance levels and maybe some patterns if there are. There may not be a pattern. There, there are, tra assets are not always trading in the pattern, right? So it's a, you know, very simple. I, I use the, uh, the trend line drawing tool and I basically connect uh, the last few swing peaks and swing lows, upswing peaks and downswing lows, right? So uh, at least two of them and maybe even three of them. Sometimes they connect really nicely, like in this case. And sometimes they don't, in which case maybe there is no pattern. And then I extend it right to the present time, okay? And then again, I repeat that on the swing lows. Okay, got this tool. Swing low, swing low, swing low, maybe extended, but I, I don't even need to. I just need three of them. But if I do extend it here, I get a connected right here as well. It works out really nice. Oops. And I again extend it into the present time. Okay. Now look at these two lines. Uh, that Those are two parallel downtrending lines. These are both downtrend lines. Um, and Parallel downtrending lines indicate that that's a channel down pattern. 
as you can see the price is kind of rising to the, cha uh, the channel resistance then dips to the channel support and repeats that process all right now having said that uh let's also identify the horizontal and that's actually maybe even more important is to be aware of the horizontal support and resistance areas and these are areas the key levels where you know buyers step in because it's at a support level where they um, like to accumulate the asset and then at certain level when the price bounces back up uh, the sellers show up and they start selling and the price uh, is pushed back down and and typically those levels oftentimes repeat so let's uh, let's first of all find the recent low right here and then hold on let's select that tool again the trend line tool so then I extend it to horizontally to the beginning of the chart essentially okay and uh, assess you know I mean here you could say that there was a quick dip um, and and you know I'm looking for touch points right that this level repeat in the history and looks like you know this was a support level um, back in February this was a resistance level um, prior to that and support level here so uh, key levels, support and resistance, they change from support and resistance as they get broken. It becomes uh, a support. Um, you know, if it's being, getting approached, it's, it's resistance. So that's called polarity. Uh, basically, the same key level becomes switches from support to resistance and from resistance to support, depending on if the price has broken through it or not. So this, to me, looks like a, a clear, clear support level. It's around $3. And I'm going to give it actually a green color. That's what I like to do, make it thicker and, and an opacity so that it's, uh, it's not, so, um, uh, it's not uh, so visible. And then uh, I'll go to the next. Uh, next key level here, okay, on the, on the resistance side, we saw resistance here. Okay, let me select that tool again. Resistance, I extend that horizontally across the chart, right? Okay, now again, uh, this level around 440 is where it, uh, back in August, it sort of peaked. Um, there was a resistance here, it was support here, it was support here, it was support here, it was resistance here. So, okay, again, multiple touch points on this key level. Now, is it a resistance or support at this point? Well, this level is above the current price, so clearly that is my current resistance. Now, um, I can just grab this actually, copy, paste, and see where is my next resistance. Is the, the, the recent swing up here, um, maybe not quite at 5.30, but a little lower at $5, because that's where I get more touch points here, okay? I get touch point here at least maybe even here okay and then you can go on and on maybe the next one uh could be all the way well maybe here which is about 560 that's what this was a resistance i'd say that's probably correct because this was also support back here so this is another potential resistance area so we've got resistance at 440 five dollars and 575 or so okay now now I've done this work. Now what's next? Next, well, it's the channel down pattern. Some traders like to trade between them. This is an emerging pattern, so meaning that the breakout has not occurred yet. It's, you know, it's not a completed pattern. Completed pattern is when the breakout happens. But yet price is still trading in between these two trend lines, so it's trading within that channel down pattern so this is an emerging pattern some traders try to trade between these two trend lines um you know but beginners i think tend to wait for the breakout so in this case we want to wait for the price uh, to break um, through the channel down resistance trend line okay and channel downs channel down patterns typically occur in downtrends uh, clearly uh, but typically, 
resolve in a bullish breakout, meaning the price breaks out to the upside and then rises to some distance. Okay, so in this case, I think you know most likely we'll see a breakout here around 440, and then and then it'll rise to this next resistance level of five dollars, maybe as high as 572. All right, so that's my playbook here. Where would I place the stop loss level? This is very important. You can find um, the discussion of stop loss levels throughout the trading course that we have available, uh, but particularly in the lesson nine on risk management, where we talk about the appropriate trade size, the stop loss levels, also um, how to set the risk to reward or reward to risk ratios, so a, n a number of different techniques to manage your risk because that's critical in su you know, successful trading is in a large part um, based on risk management. You can't lose too much on one single trade. Um, you gotta stay in the game to, uh, to profit from the, the good trades. So, um, so typically the stop loss levels uh, on uh, uh, pattern trading, is, is set just below the prior swing low. So the prior swing low is here. Uh, the low candle here, the low of that candle, let's see, is $3.42. So I would probably set the stop loss at $3.40. Now, when the breakout happens, maybe we'll have another you know, down swing before that happens. So I'll have to reassess that situation when the breakout actually happens. Now, the cool part is that you can now save it, save this layout for future reuse. Okay, so uh, you can rename this year two, right, and come back to it in the future. You can load the layouts that you've made for other assets as well. So this is a pretty cool feature in itself. That you can uh, save your drawings here and have them available in future when you come back to this asset um, as well. You have to be registered on the platform to do that, um, but uh, this is a pretty cool feature. So the other thing I wanted to mention um, is how to stay on top of this, tr this particular trade opportunity. Well, I use alerts. So as I mentioned, um, the channel down breakout in this case happens to be Let's go back to the chart. Happens to line up potentially with a break above this horizontal resistance area of about 440. Okay. So um, that's also something I recommend is when trading pattern breakouts, it helps when there is simultaneously a break above a horizontal resistance as well. So you've got a break through the channel down trend line resistance, as well as the horizontal resistance level. In this case, I think the key level is 440. So when that happens, that gives me a little, little more confidence that this breakout is real. Okay, <clears throat> so let's save this again. And, and so if my Horizontal key level is 440. I'm going to say alert me when the last price is above 440. Okay, now I'll, I'll give, I'll put a note here as well. Um, possible channel down breakout above 440 horizontal resistance upside to the next uh, resistance area is five dollars or the next one after that is 575 and stop loss maybe at 340 okay again i say maybe because i'll have to reassess when that breakout happens if indeed that's still the latest swing low so I set the alert, and now I will receive alerts uh, under my alert management. 
uh, area as well as on the mobile app. Um, if you haven't downloaded the Altfence mobile app, I recommend, I suggest that you do so. It's a great companion app um, in addition to the web platform. Uh, it's a lighter version of the web platform. You don't have everything there, but you certainly have the alerts, technical analyses, chart patterns, and news. So it's a, it's a good one uh, to have along with the platform as well. Um, now I'll mention that um, we have technical analyses like this under the technical analysis section where we have about 65 trade setups ready for the traders to use, complete with support and resistance areas, chart patterns, as well as target price and stop loss levels. And you can filter these out just based on if you're interested only in the bullish trade setups and only a certain uh, uh, pattern type, or maybe you're looking for only breakouts and not emerging patterns, right? And then quickly jump to some of those uh, trading opportunities very quickly. All right, everyone. Well, I hope this has been uh, helpful. Keep in mind that this video was made for informational purposes only, not meant to be financial advice and do your, and do your own research. Good luck trading.